Getty Transfer News Chelsea have agreed a contract in principle with Daniele Regani Transfer News Live Updates All the latest from Chelsea, Arsenal, Manchester United, Liverpool and more including every Premier League done deal. Wednesday, June 207, 15 p.m., Juventus are set to sign Joao Cancelo from Valencia. Portuguese right-back Cancelo was previously linked with Manchester United and Wolves. 6.20 p.m., Manchester United target Gareth Bale needs a guarantee of regular football if he is to stay at Real Madrid. His agent has revealed to Sky Sports, I think we have to have a chat with Real Madrid and see where we're going, said Jonathan Barnett. He wants a better year than he had last year. He wants to play more, and that's paramount to him. I think he's one of the top three or four players on earth. For somebody like him, he has to play. It's not about money. 6.10 p.m. West Ham have made a concrete offer for nice midfielder Jean Michael Sarri, according to Italian outlet Tutto Mercato Web. 4.30 p.m. Darren Moore has shown his ruthless streak with letting three West Brom stalwarts go. Out of contract Gareth McCauley, Claudio Jakob and keeper Boaz Mahill have not been offered new deals. Scotland international James Morrison, who has been out of action with a long-term injury, may get the chance to earn a new contract. Moore admitted it had been a hard decision to make but felt it was something he had to do. The three players have a combined 21 years service at the Hawthorns and Moore said they had every reason to be proud of their contribution. Moore said, they have been absolute stalwarts of this club. It was a very difficult decision not to offer each of them a new contract and I did not take that decision lightly. It was, however, a decision I felt was in the best interests of the football club. Morrison will report back for pre-season, with more adding, we will be monitoring him in the coming weeks and we hope his improving fitness will result in game time in our pre-season fixtures. 4.15 p.m. John Flanagan is set to join up at Rangers Spanish training camp as the former Liverpool fullback edges closes to becoming Steven Gerrard's seventh summer signing. The right back is a free agent after being released by the Anfield outfit at the end of the season and is set to join up with his former Liverpool captain Gerard at Dybrix. It is understood the 25-year-old, who has had knee problems in the past, is due to undergo a thorough medical as he closes in on becoming Gerard's latest acquisition. Star Sport revealed Gerard was weighing up a move for his former teammate and it is expected that will soon get over the line as Gers continue their build-up to the forthcoming campaign. 4 p.m. Chelsea have agreed a deal in principle with Juventus defender Daniele Regani, according to Sport Italia. The contract is said to be worth around £3.1 million, million Euros per season but the move is reportedly on hold until Maurizio Sarri is confirmed as Antonio Conti's replacement in the dugout. 3.45 p.m. Arsenal have identified Sevilla midfielder Ever Benega as their next transfer target, according to Kika Marin. The Argentina International has a 17.5 million pounds, 20 million euros, release clause, it is claimed 3.30 p.m., done deal, Leicester have completed the signing of Norwich star James Madison, I'm delighted, he said. I'm really happy to be here, I had a good chat with the manager about football and how he wants me to play, how he likes to play and I was sold, we talked about the type of player I am, how I'm going to fit into his style of play and everything sounded really promising, I haven't looked back since that phone call, 2.40pm, Cristiano Ronaldo has held talks with new Real Madrid manager Julian Lopetegui over his future at the club. The Portuguese plunged his future into doubt after referring to Los Blancos in the past tense following the Champions League final win over Liverpool. And that alerted the likes of Manchester United and Paris Saint-Germain to his availability. Ronaldo was once again in superb form last season, scoring 44 goals in all competitions. Now Spanish outlet Don Ballon, known for their bold transfer claims, say Lopetegui has reached out to the 33-year-old. 2.05 p.m., Arsenal legend Ray Parler thinks Jack Wilshire will join West Ham. Jack has done brilliantly for Arsenal, he told TalkSport, I know he's had his injury problems, but I'm sorry to see Jack leave because I love seeing homegrown players come through the ranks, he knows what it's like to play for Arsenal and it's a big decision he'd made to leave the club. After I left the club there were two players I always saw who stood out as youngsters and I thought they would go on and 
and have unbelievable careers, one of them was Cesc Fabregas and the other was Jack Wilshire. He wasn't faced by anything but his injuries have just taken their toll, Jack needs to play football, he's 26 years old, there's no good him sitting on the bench or in the stand, Nice would be an interesting move but he's got two young children so staying in London might be ideal him, Crystal Palace and West Ham have been talked about and I think his dad is a West Ham fan, so that might be the place he ends up, there will be so many clubs in for Jack and whoever gets him will be getting a very, very good player. Getty Transfer News, Leicester have signed James Madison from Norwich 12.20pm, Eden Hazard has been told to leave Chelsea for Real Madrid this summer. Former Belgium coach Vital Borkelmans has urged the former Lille forward to exit the Premier League, I think now is the moment that Hazard has to move, which will most likely be to Spain, he told Bwin, he played a lot of years in the Premier League, but I think it's time for him to move on, 11.05 a.m., Cristiano Ronaldo is undecided on his future and has handed Real Madrid an ultimatum. That's according to reports in Spain that say the 33-year-old has spoken with bigwigs at the Bermabu. Ronaldo plunged his future into doubt after referring to Real in the past tense after their Champions League final win over Liverpool. That alerted the likes of Manchester United to his availability who would be keen on a reunion. Now Spanish outlet Don Balan, known for their outlandish transfer claims, say the Portugal star has given his demands if he is to stay. Ronaldo wants a better salary to be in line with Lionel Messi and Neymar, 10.45 a.m., done deal, West Ham have signed Lucas Fabianski from Swansea, West Ham is a massive club so I'm really happy to be joining at such an exciting time here, he said, I will do my best on and off the pitch to help the team to achieve the best results possible and can't wait to start this new chapter of my career, 9.10 a.m., Nabil Fakir was on the brink of moving to Liverpool until the transfer collapsed and now Real Madrid could make a raid. That's according to shock reports in Spain that claim Los Blancos are considering a swoop for the France international as an alternative to Mohamed Salah. New Real Madrid manager Julian Lopetegui is keen to overhaul his squad this summer to close the gap on Barcelona in La Liga. And Spanish outlet Diario GOL, known for their outlandish transfer claims, say Fakir is one player on his wish list. The report also says Kylie and Mbappe, Eden Hazard and Saudi Omain are all names being considered. 8.30 a.m., Liverpool are now the frontrunners for Roma goalkeeper Alisson after Real Madrid pulled the plug on any deal. The Brazilian is highly rated after an impressive season in Italy last time out. Liverpool are looking for a new goalkeeper this summer after Lloris Karius made two howlers in the Champions League final. Allison is currently with Brazil at the World Cup and has got the nod for his country over Manchester City A. Sederson. Roma's valuation of Allison is a problem though, according to Calcio Mercado. Owner James Pulata said, Allison has a high market value, around 78 million euros, 70 million pounds, 7.35 a.m. Anthony Marshall has reportedly been told he will be granted his wish of leaving for Manchester United, but only for the right price. The French winger has told the Red Devils he wants this leave this summer as he looks to secure first-team football. He has grown frustrated since the signing of Alexis Sanchez, which has relegated the ex-Monaco star to the bench, at best. According to The Sun, United Chiefs have slapped a £100 million price tag as Chelsea and Tottenham hover. The Old Trafford outfit would prefer not to sell to a Premier League rival as they still believe he can become of the best in the world. Getty Transfer News, Ever Benega is said to be Unai Emery's next target 5.15 a.m., Tottenham are interested in Lion midfielder Tongi and Mbele, according to Sky Sources. However, Spurs have not made contact with a League One club, contrary to reports in France on Monday. Lion do not want to sell the 21-year-old this summer, having just signed him permanently from Amien after a successful season-long loan, 4.05 a.m., Maurizio Sarri wants to make Dries Mertens his first signing as Chelsea manager, according to The Mirror. The former Napoli boss is closing in on a move to take over the Blues, and wants the 31-year-old to come to London along with him.
Everton scored 22 goals under Sarri last season as Napoli finished runners-up to Juventus in Serie A 2.30 a.m. Former Juventus goalkeeper Gianluigi Buffon will complete his move to Paris Saint-Germain in the next few days, according to Sky in Italy. The 40-year-old Italy legend left Juventus at the end of last season after 17 years with the Serie A champions. Buffon captain Juve to a seventh straight Serie A title and fourth consecutive Italian Cup triumph in his final season in Turin. He will join Neymar and new manager Thomas Tuchel at the Par des Princes, 1 a.m. Crystal Palace have offered Wilfred Zaha a bumper new deal believed to be worth more than £120,000 a week. The Eagles have made their move to extend Zaha's Selhurst Park stay by opening contract talks. Tottenham have been heavily linked with the move for the Ivorian winger and Palace have moved to fend off their interest. Zaha signed a five-year, £100,000 a week deal last summer, but Palace are ready to improve his terms again after a highly impressive 2017-18 campaign. Related articles